Hey everybody, in this video we're going to be looking into AC generators. So a generator is the opposite to that of a motor. They convert the mechanical energy or kinetic energy into electrical potential energy. However, they are basically the same thing. They have two magnets which produce a constant magnetic field. It has a coil that rotates around an axis. The physical difference between an AC and a DC generator is the rings connecting the coil to the rest of the circuit. DC generators, like DC motors, have rings and brushes that allow the current to flow in the same direction. AC generators have rings that aren't broken. They don't have those split rings. They have what's called slip rings. And these are solid rings that connect to the same side of the coil as it rotates through the magnetic field. These slip rings are two solid rings that rotate around our axis. They are still connected to the circuit by brushes. However, as you can see from our diagram, is that each coil here is connected to one of these rings. This means that our coil in our generator is always connected to the same components in the same manner. Now, as with all induction, our generators are using a change in magnetic flux to generate electricity using Faraday's law. So our equation for magnetic flux we know is magnetic flux is equal to the number of coils times by the magnetic field times by the area cos theta. Cos theta again is giving us the angle from perpendicular. As the coil is rotating, it's going to be rotating at some velocity. That means that our theta is going to be changing in time at some velocity. So therefore, theta is equal to our angular velocity, omega, times time. This gives us the equation for our changing magnetic flux. Now that we have our changing magnetic flux, we can substitute this into Faraday's law. Substituting in our value for magnetic flux, bringing out all the constants so that we're just left with our dependence on time. Now we can solve this differential equation, giving us the EMF for an AC generator. So our EMF is equal to our angular velocity times by the number of coils multiplied by the magnetic field, the area of the coil, and the rotation of the coil in the magnetic field. We don't generally talk about the angular velocity of an AC generator. Generally what we talk about is the frequency of the current being produced. Frequency is equal to the angular velocity divided by 2 pi or our angular velocity is equal to 2 pi times our frequency. We can now substitute this back into our EMF equation, giving us our value of our EMF produced in terms of the frequency. So in this video, we've derived our equation for the EMF produced by an AC generator. We've talked about what an AC generator is, and how it is different from a DC motor. In our next video, we're going to be continuing looking at AC generators, looking into the current produced, as well as the relationship between the magnetic flux, current, and EMF. See you in the next video.